What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwid and I'm back again today with some Madden 15 information. EA Sports today released the top five cornerback ratings for Madden NFL 15, which does come out about a month from now. And personally, I think there's some controversy in these ratings. Um, obviously, I think there's some some ones that we all expected there to be, and I think those are kind of rated accordingly. Uh, but there are also some, some players in this game that I think uh, might be a little bit overrated. So why don't we go ahead and take a look at the top five cornerback rankings based off of the ratings that EA Sports gave them to start this game off. And at number five, we are starting off with Vontae Davis, Colts cornerback. He is 92 overall. And what they said on his rating is that Vontae is a lockdown cornerback, uh, lockdown material in Madden NFL 15 with his combination of 95 man coverage, 93 speed, 95 agility, and 94 jumping. So obviously, Vontae Davis, we expected him to be pretty good. Although, you know, I'm kind of surprised that he did actually crack into this top five. Not that he wasn't a great cornerback last year, but, um, you know, I, I was a little bit surprised to see him over the likes of, uh, like, Aqib Tlaib, for example. So, you know, that was something that I was a little bit, uh, not, I guess, not necessarily super surprised, but a little bit surprised to see. Moving on to our number four cornerback, and that is actually the guy who just got a massive contract today. Uh, he became the highest paid cornerback in the NFL, and that is, of course, Patrick Peterson of the Arizona Cardinals. He is 93 overall, and it says, Patrick Peterson is a triple threat as a defender, a returner, and even a wide receiver on occasion. He has the top ratings at cornerback in these physical ratings. 98 speed, 97 agility, and 97 acceleration. He also has 94 elusiveness, 94 juke, 97 return, and 82 catch that really highlight his all-around game. So I think that uh, Patrick Peterson is definitely going to be in a, a player that people are very, very interested in playing with. Uh, the Arizona Cardinals defense as a whole last year, I think I talked about this in the defensive end ratings, uh, they were underrated as a group. Because they were in that same division with San Francisco and Seattle, a lot of people really overlooked them, but they actually went and kicked the crap out of Seattle. I think it was week 17, um, and they just outplayed them. They went in there and just beat the snot out of out of Seattle, and I think a lot of people didn't see that coming. But Arizona, if they just had a little bit more competent quarterback play, uh, Carson Palmer from time to time looked absolutely awful. But if they had a little bit better quarterback play, I think that they would absolutely be a playoff contender. They would absolutely be a contender for the NFC West, even with San Francisco and uh, Seattle being in that division. Patrick Peterson definitely highlights that group. He is, uh, of course, one of the best Madden players that there is. We all love to play with him. And uh, if it's possible to use him as a wide receiver, that could be interesting as well because Arizona, outside of Michael Floyd and, of course, Larry Fitzgerald, they don't have a lot of skill at the wide receiver position. So it could be something where people end up using Patrick Peterson at wide receiver. And according to these attributes, maybe he won't be so bad there with that 98 speed, 97 agility, and 97 experience acceleration. Uh, those are some pretty nice numbers and he'll be able to get open. Next cornerback, and this is the number three cornerback in the league, Joe Hayden of the Cleveland Browns. And uh, just like Patrick Peterson, he was a part of a defense that I think was kind of underrated last year. Uh, Hayden, it says, Hayden is not blazing fast with 91 speed, but the rest of his attributes are as, as elite as they come at cornerback. 98 man coverage, which is tied for first, 97 agility, which is tied for first, and 97 acceleration, which is tied for second. He also has 94 zone coverage, which is tied for third, and, 90, or, and 86 pursuit, which is tied for fourth. So, first things first, 91 speed. That is brutal. For a cornerback. Uh, I think Joe Hayden is being disrespected in this area. Now granted he's not known as a great straight line speed guy but 91 speed that puts him significantly lower than many of the wide receivers that we're going to see in this game and just a straight deep pattern against him could beat him for a touchdown from time to time and I hate to see that out of a guy who's perceived to be an elite cornerback. Obviously, if we're playing in the real NFL and he's lined up against Deshaun Jackson or something like that, he's probably going to have to have some help over the top. But, I mean, my goodness, 91 speed? Seriously? I, I'm a little bit surprised by that. Um, you know, I, I don't know what all the other cornerbacks have, but that seems very, very low to me, and it could be 
something where people get kind of pissed off about how slow he is. But then again, I don't see a whole lot of people using the Cleveland Browns uh, in head-to-head -head games, unless, of course, they're a huge Johnny Manziel fan, in which case then they probably will. But uh, other than that, I, the Cleveland Browns, overall, they're not very good in Madden usually, so uh, especially offensively, and, and especially if Josh Gordon ends up being like suspended or something like that and, and you can't use him online. I don't know how that whole thing will work, but uh, anyway, I think, like I said, Joe Hayden, I think, is being disrespected with the 91 speed, so I do not like that. Next player, and that is 97 overall, Darrell Revis, now a member of the New England Patriots. And I think that this one is a little bit surprising to people as well, because although Revis had a really, really good year last year, 97 overall is pretty damn high. That puts him only one attribute uh, overall lower than Peyton Manning, who set the all-time record for touchdowns and probably had, well, I guess I don't even think it's really debatable. I think he had the best statistical season in NFL history at the quarterback position. He's only a 98 overall. So Revis, 97 overall, coming off of not even his best year. Granted, he was good, but I don't think he was the best cornerback in the game or even the second best cornerback in the game last year, personally. Now, granted, he does have the track record, so I understand why EA would make him a little bit higher than some of the guys who haven't been good for as long, but 97 overall is pretty high, so I was a little bit taken aback by that, but let's see what they had to say about him. They say, Revis has been the top Madden cornerback ranking, uh, at the top of the Madden cornerback rankings for years now. This year, Revis boasts 98 man coverage, 92 zone coverage, 90 press, and 95 play recognition. So, obviously, 98 man coverage, that is beastly. They didn't mention his speed, and I think that that's something that I was a little bit surprised by. All the other players that they've shown in here, uh, they've shown their speed. So, Revis isn't particularly known as being a fast cornerback either. I'm going to guess that he's probably going to check in somewhere between like 92 to 94 speed, which makes him good enough, but not really on the elite end of things. So, that could be a little bit of a concern. But uh, overall, obviously, 98 overall is pretty damn beastly. And that 98 or 97 overall, excuse me, is, is pretty damn beastly with the 98 man coverage. He is definitely going to be one of the toughest cornerbacks to throw on in this game, and rightfully so. Moving on now to the final cornerback, the number one overall cornerback in the game. And of course, we can't really be taken by surprise at this one. He's the cover boy for Madden 15. And that, of course, is Richard Sherman, 99 overall. That was a little bit surprising, but at the same time, not all that surprising because we've seen other players be 99 overall. We've got the Calvin Johnson, for example, and J.J. Watt. Uh, and I think there might have been one or two others, but... Yeah, so Richard Sherman is, of course, 99 overall, and it says the Madden NFL cover athlete, Madden NFL 15 cover athlete is the top ranked cornerback in each of the following categories, strength of 72, catching of 82, and man coverage of 98. He's also ranked second in zone coverage at 96, awareness at 94, agility at 96, and play recognition at 95, oh, and also 98 for jumping. Do you see why he's rated 99 overall? And of course, that doesn't even take into consideration that he's a long and lanky quarterback as well, which means that he's going to be able to go up against the taller, more physical receivers like the Calvin Johnsons. Uh, and that 98 jumping is, of course, going to play a major factor in him being able to swat the ball away on those jump ball situations, just like he does in real life. Richard Sherman, I don't think anybody can argue at this point with him being a 99 overall. Um, I was kind of hoping honestly, that we wouldn't have quite so many 99 overalls to start the season off, uh, but I'm not really that astonished that Sherman is going to be 99 overall when you consider that there were a couple others at 99 overall. It just does frustrate me, though, a little bit because uh, Peyton Manning, like I said, I just keep going back to that. The guy had the best season ever at quarterback. Yeah, he had a tough game in the Super Bowl, but are you seriously going to knock him down because of one game when he had all throughout the entire rest of the season, he was amazing? I mean, he was the best corner or quarterback from week one all the way th to the Super Bowl. And then obviously in the Super Bowl, he didn't do very well. But my goodness, man, 98 overall for him when you've got the 99s at all these other positions. Just a little bit irritating to me. Now, one of the things that I was kind of frustrated by when I saw it was EA is actually tweeting out some of the player ratings at uh, just on Twitter. And 
basically responding to people's questions saying you know people are are asking what is so and so rated in madden and they're and they have to contain a hashtag i forget what it is like ea madden ratings or something weird like that but um anyway they're responding to those tweets and telling people what the overall ratings of players are and and even some of like the uh more individual ratings like you know speed and stuff like that and one of them was alteron verner and Alteron Werner, for those of you who don't know, had an incredibly productive season this past year for the Tennessee Titans. Uh, my opinion is that he was probably the best cornerback that people didn't really know about in 2004, uh, 2013 season. He had an absolutely beastly year in that Tennessee defensive scheme. And across from him, of course, uh, Jason McCourty also had an excellent season. So the two of them, I, I'm really surprised that Werner actually only apparently checks in at 87 overall. I think that is very disrespectful to a guy that had one of the best cornerback seasons of anybody last year. Werner was a monster. The only real game where he and uh, McCourty got beat up in was the Denver game. So other than that, they were pretty damn beastly throughout the in almost the entire season so like i said i don't know what they were thinking with having him only 87 overall perhaps it's the new defensive scheme that he's going to be in but uh it, that was a little bit shocking to me and then uh, the other thing too the other player that i think was kind of disrespected in this whole thing and i don't really know uh what his overall rating is because i haven't seen anybody ask it and i, I wasn't going to sit and look through their entire timeline to try and find it but um, maybe somebody can comment below if somebody does end up uh, asking this question and, and EA answers it. But Aqib Talib, I'm kind of surprised that he didn't crack this top five. Now, granted, uh, he could be tied or he could be. I, no, I guess, you know what? He can't be tied based on the fact that they had uh, more than five players at a couple of the positions because there were equal ratings at the fifth spot. So like, you know, in this case, Vontae Davis is 92 overall. If there was another 92 overall corner, they would have had him in this uh, top five breakdown, even if it was even if it meant that there were six players in the top five. So we know that Aqib Talib is, Talib is at least a 91, if not lower. So uh, that was a little bit surprising to me because I feel like he deserves better. I think that he and Vontae Davis are very comparable. And to me, I would personally rather have Aqib Talib. So I, I'm kind of a little bit surprised by that. But, you know, it's, it's EA and it's the first ratings. You never quite know. If he's 91 overall, I'm not going to complain. But if Aqib Talib comes in at like 88 overall or something like that, I'm going to be quite upset about that because he definitely deserves to be higher. So with that being said, guys, I want to hear what you guys have to say. Do you like these ratings? Is there anything controversial? Do you believe that a player got snubbed? Do you think somebody should be higher? Should somebody not be in the top five here that is? Let me know in the comments section below. And also, don't be, don't be afraid to press that subscribe button because we have plenty of Madden 25 Ultimate Team content coming out. We are also going to be t hitting the ground running for Madden 15. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that next month. Thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again.